Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to implement filter functionality using Spring Boot. But before that, let's demo whatever we are going to implement. So here, let's search for language Portuguese. Now click on the search button. See, it is not showing 200 pages, showing only two pages and showing only six records. See all four buttons are working fine. After the search, there is a cancel button so we click on cancel button then searched values should be clear and reset records back to the original. Let's click on the cancel button. See it is working. Now let's search for some other language like English. See it is working and showing 199 pages. On the last page, it is showing only 4 records. And when we cancel it is showing all the records. So this is what we are going to implement in this video. Now let's demo whatever we implemented till now. If you observe we added one new field for the genre and for the language we changed text box to drop down. And in book list table I added a new column for the genre. Now let's say I want to modify language and genre for the first row. See it is working. Now let's see whatever code I added for these drop downs. First, I will show you whatever code I added for Java classes. See here I added one new field for the genre. See here I am setting technology as the default value for genre. See here I added two new methods one for language and one for the genre. Don't worry this code is very simple. Here I am directly add, adding languages and genres in array list and for sorting purpose I am using tree setting. I hope this code you can understand easily. That's the code which I added for API level. Now I will show you whatever code I added for react book list and book.js file. So let's open both the files. See here I added code for genre column. See here I declared two array one for languages and one for genres. See in component did mount method I added a call for find all languages and find all genres methods. See here is a method for find all languages. And here is a method for find all genres. See here I am iterating data using a map and preparing array with whole data in JSON format and format is like value and display. I hope you can understand this code. See here I am preparing two lists one for language and one for the genre. Here I am preparing drop down options when I am iterating languages array using the map. I hope you can understand this code. So that's the code I added for drop downs. So if I edit any row then language and genre value auto selected and for that, we don't need to add any code. Now let's start to implement filter functionality. So for that let's add search text box related code in the right side of card header. First, let's add to div. The left side we will show book list level, and the right side we will show a search text box. Now let's add input group related code. This code you can get from React Bootstrap page, so inside the input group, we will add form control and two buttons, one for search button and one for the cancel button. Now let's add required attributes for text box. Now add font awesome icons for buttons. We need to import these fun awesome icons. Add size, variant and type attributes for buttons. Don't worry about this code. This code you can find in React Bootstrap page. Now let's add this search also as part of the state. Add search in constant also so we can directly use search. Change this left to right. Let's check search box is showing properly or not. 
See it is showing properly, only thing is showing the white border. Let's add CSS for the border in the style CSS file. Let's add a new class for border. Now apply this CSS class for the form control. That's it, let's check now. See it is showing properly, but when I am typing anything it is not showing anything. So for that, we need to add on change method. Similar way we did for book form also. Let's add similar kind of code. Here we are assigning value to name attribute using event target. Let's try now. See now is allowing to enter the value. See we added cancel button also. So let's add on click event for cancel button and when I click on cancel then it should clear the form control value. Now let's add the required changes. Now let's implement cancel search method. So here I am just setting search value to empty using set state. See it is very simple. Let's try now. See it is clearing the value. Let's implement filter logic using Spring Boot. Let's open all the related classes. If you remember in the earlier video we implement pagination so let's copy this fine all method. And instead of four parameters we will use pagable and search text. And in get mapping annotation we will add search and will use search text as a path variable. I hope this method is clear for you. Import this pagible also. Now we need to implement this method in book resource implementation class. Import this pagible also. Now let's add required code. We need to create find all method with these two parameters pagible and search text. Let's declare find all method in iService interface. The method is similar to find all method with one extra parameter. Now let's implement this method in book service implementation class. Here default find all method will not work because along with pagible search text is an extra parameter. So we need to declare our own method inside book repository interface. So let's call find all books method of the book repository. See still, we haven't declared any method. Let's declare custom find all method in book repository. Method signature same, like we are following from the beginning. Let's paste whatever we copied. Let's import page and pageable. Replace T with book. For search text, we need to add a param. Import param also. To implement this functionality we need to add our custom query, so add query annotation. Import query also. Let's add a simple select query with our clause. In our clause we will add title, author, language and genre so whatever user enters it will query from the database. See the query is very simple, add order by price also. That's it, I hope this you can understand. See changes are done, let's run now. Stop the server. But before that just review quickly is there anything which I missed? Here instead of find all, we need to use find all books in book repository interface. Here we need to replace T with book. Even here also I missed. 
OK, now let's start the server. Server started successfully. First, let's see the filter is working or not when we are passing some value after search. Let's search for history. First, let's prepare the filter URL. Now let's add page and size as a query parameter. See it is working, but not returning any result. Instead of history let's try some language like French. See it is working, but not returning any result. Even it is not working for English. Let's check the code. I think I missed something. See here before search text we need to add path variable also. Now let's start the server again. Server started. Let's try now. See it is returning result now. Now let's change the search text. See it is not returning any result. You know why? Because we are using H2 database. So when the server started an old data removed and recreate fresh data. See here you are seeing different data. Let's edit the second record. So for this record change the genre. And click on update. See updated successfully. See you can see updated data now. Let's change the genre for the first record also. Now let's query for history by using filter URL. See it is working. Let's change the language for third record. Now let's query for the Portuguese language. See it is working. Now let's modify the React code so we can filter data using the search text box. So for search button let's add on click event and we'll call search data function. Not here move this code for the button. Let's create a search data function. This function behavior also same as find all books function, but code not 100% same. We need to change the URL. Here let's copy find all books function code. Remove sort direction variable. Now change the URL, like we use when we test using a browser. Now replace these hard code values, whatever we entered in the search box that we can read using state search variable. Instead of 0 use current page. And instead of 5 let's use state books per page variable. OK, now this is done. Let's check now, the filter is working or not. See it is working. Here one more thing we need to add so when I click on cancel button then it should reset data also. Let's see how to do that. See here and clearing the search value. Let's call find all books method. That's it. Let's try now. See it is working. I hope this is clear for you. See even we can filter by language also. See here we filter by technology. So for technology, we don't have 1000 records. If we go to the last page then also showing 5 records. And even when I return back to the first page then also it is including other records. That means these 4 buttons are not working properly. So we need to some condition so based on that it will decide what to do. Let's see how to do that. So for these 5 functions, we will add a simple condition like if state search value is not empty then call search data function otherwise call find all books function. Don't worry it is simple code. See this is code which we need to use another 4 functions. So let's add required changes. That's it. Let's try now. Is it working fine or not? See initial pagination is working fine. Let's filter by technology. See in last page showing only 3 records. See it is not including other records. See it is working as per the expectation. Now let's change the language for at least 6 records. So when I search that particular language then we can test pagination easily.
See we have modified 6 records so for all 6 records language is Portuguese. Now let's search for Portuguese. See it is showing 2 pages. Let's navigate to second page. See it is showing only 1 record. See all 4 buttons are working fine. Now let's search for English. See it is showing 199 pages. And when I reach the last page it is showing only 4 records because 6 records are related to language Portuguese. See everything is working as per the expectation. Let's review whatever we added. See everything is very simple, don't worry there are many other types of videos in my list like authentication then we'll create a video for Redux also. I hope this video is helpful for you. We search data for genre or language, not even these two even we can search author or title also, let's search for this author. See it is working. Now let's search for the title. So if we enter the wrong value then it will not result in anything. Here is not returning because there is a space before title. So let's remove the space then try again. See it is working. See this is the basic search. Incoming video, we will implement the code for the advanced level search also. I checked in my changes. I will show you from where you can find these. See here are the changes. That's it for this video, please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.